Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is in collaboration with Builders Warehouse for their home improvement slash Black Friday campaign. So if you guys are interested, then just keep watching. There are so many things that I want to DIY and fix and revamp in my apartment and I'm just so excited because doing it with Builders Warehouse is as easy as a one, two, three. I'm so excited to take you guys along through this DIY project with me and show you guys how I DIY. I separated this DIY project series into five really easily understandable um, videos for you guys so you can watch it on my Instagram and then at the end of this whole project I will combine them and you can watch the full video on my YouTube channel. When it comes to DIYing, I like to follow just three really easy steps. Step one being decision making, step two being purchasing the items for your projects and step three being completing your projects. So in this first video, we are going to be looking at step one, which is decision making. So without further ado, let's just get started already with step one of our project. So step one is decision making. Now, the first question I ask myself when it comes to decision making is what areas or items around your flat do you want to redo, revamp, fix or DIY? And I mean, basically, you know, if you have like a blank or a bland area in your flat and you want to like add a new DIY to it, this is the step to do it in. So right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create my list of possible DIY projects that I want to create around my flat. So honestly, there are like so many different product projects that I want to do. Like the main areas for me that I want to focus on is like the lounge area. I really want to like add maybe a wall, you know, a wall hanger, um, maybe like a macrame. Maybe like a macrame piece on the wall or like a rattan mirror on the wall. Um, ooh, I also want to like maybe add some... A side table maybe like make a small side table to house my plants on I think that would be really cool and things that I could like revamp that I already have is an old table that I actually have in my bedroom which I really want to do I also have a um, like what do you call those things I think they are like side side tables a side server thing that I actually DIY'd myself last year and maybe I could also revamp that. And yeah, that is basically some of the projects that I'm thinking of right now. And then the next step is to figure out what is your budget. And I think that is like honestly the most important step just because budget is super important to me. I mean, the whole point of DIYing is to find or to create a, a cheaper alternative to an item that you saw and you loved in the shops and I mean if your DIY project is gonna come up to more than the item in the shop then you might as well just get the item in the shop guys let's just be real now so that brings us to the next part which is creating your list of your projects so I filtered down my projects using my budget as a guideline to just three projects that I'm gonna do for you guys and I am so excited because I love them so much I mean, they're so like in my style. My style for my apartment is like really clean, minimalistic, yet like a hint of bohemian, you know, nature to it. So, oh my gosh, guys, I am so excited about these products. Products? I'm so used to saying products. I'm so excited about these projects. Oh my gosh. My first project is to make a rattan mirror and I am so excited about this project. This is a picture of my inspiration for this DIY. Okay, so the things I'm gonna need for this rattan mirror is a mirror, of course. We're gonna need a mirror. We're also gonna need some bamboo sticks. So a mirror, some bamboo sticks. We're gonna need some glue. I don't have a glue gun. A glue gun would be amazing, but sticking with the budget, we're just gonna have to use regular glue. Um, yeah, so a glue gun, then we will need some, I think, some jute rope. 
jute rope the really thin one to use around the mirror project number two i'm thinking of revamping my thrifted table which is currently in my bedroom it looks so but i'm thinking of revamping it this is a picture of how the table looks before and you're gonna have to wait to see how it's gonna look afterwards so for this table the items that i need is well number one you'll need a table if you don't have a table or basically any item that you want to revamp then i'm going to be needing some wood bleach or wood stripper just to strip the wood i'm going to be also needing some wood varnish for afterwards and then some marble i'm not sure what you call it it's like this marble stick on paper which i'm really interested in getting or some spray paint i guess it depends on the style i'm going for and we will look at that a bit later but yeah i guess that is basically it for my revamped old table for the last project oh my gosh i'm so excited about this one as well i'm gonna be doing i'm gonna be making a concrete side table to like house my plants or basically just any little thing that i want to put on there and this is basically the inspiration photo behind that diy now the items needed for this diy is some concrete obviously we need to get some concrete some very like crafty easy concrete that dries quickly um, we're gonna need a bucket i do not have any bucket a floor protector because yeah i live in an apartment and i don't have an outside area to do this floor protector is a big must then we're gonna need like a random stick i guess to mix the concrete and then we're gonna need three dowel sticks as well for the legs and yeah i guess maybe i could make actually two of these depending on how much concrete i get and yeah that is it for this project so those are the three projects that I've chosen. I'm so excited with all of them. They are so amazing. They look so amazing. I can't wait to start on them. So the last step in the decision making process is to go online or in store and find out the prices of all the items you're gonna be needing for your projects. And I mean, it's super simple to do it online, just to Google the different prices and make sure that it's in your budget. And if not, you can go back and I mean, create a new project. So I hope you guys enjoyed episode one of my DIY series. And if you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up as it really does help support and grow my channel. Don't forget to stay tuned for the next episodes sometime next week. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.